Hello. Winton Oil Color is a high quality, dependable oil paint that is now available in eight new colors. The pigment load in Winton is lower than in Artist Oil Color, but it could be used as an alternative to a professional oil color or in addition to or mix with Artist Oil Color. It's great for tinting and covering large areas of canvas. The slightly stiffer formulation also makes it perfect for adding texture to a painting. These are the new Winton colors, Cadmium Scarlet Hue, Quinacridone Deep Pink, Dioxazine Blue, Thalo Deep Green, Dark Verdigris, Thalo Yellow Green, Azo Yellow Green, and Azo Brown. The new range is made up of a mixture of transparent and opaque colors. You could see the difference when they run over this dark line. They're a great addition to a palette. Here is a warm muted pink that could be made by mixing quinacridone deep pink, cadmium scarlet hue, and a little titanium white. Or this satisfying transparent purple created with quinacridone deep pink, dioxazine purple, and titanium white. Winton is quite a short paint. It retains peaks, texture, and brush strokes well, without the need for additional mediums. The texture I'm creating with the palette knife remains in place and gives me a lot of control over the marks I want to leave. On this second square, I'm applying textured strokes with an artist's hog brush. Winton provides excellent stroke retention. As this fully dries over the coming months, the brush strokes will remain. While Winton has a lower pigment load than artist's oil colour, it's still a very high quality oil colour. It also has a more consistent texture and viscosity. Artist's oil colours are more variable due to the high pigment to vehicle ratio. The thicker quality of Winton makes it perfect for adding texture to paintings by scratching through the surface with a palette knife or handle of a brush and for creating sgraffito effects. Winton was actually British artist Ellis Lowry's preference. He worked with a limited palette of just five colours, ivory black, vermilion, Prussian blue and yellow ochre. He also used flake white, but this is titanium white because flake white is lead-based and therefore toxic. This palette and the texture of the paint were important when it came to the creation of the unique atmospheres within his paintings that captured the industrial scenes of early 20th century Britain. See how mixing this Prussian blue, yellow ochre and a little titanium white creates a very recognisable Lowry green. Thanks for watching this video about Winton. I hope you enjoyed trying on new colours and that you found it interesting to learn about Lowry's limited palette.